Okay, before we install the rotary jig, we want to go to into our media type and check to make sure the detail set is turned off. Under media setting, all the way at the bottom, detailed set, turn it off. Okay, now we're ready to start installing the jig. So now we're going to take off the cover plates. I've already taken off the right one. There's one screw. Okay, the best way to get this off, the easiest way is take a piece of magnet, and just grab it like that. Okay, now we're ready to install the jig. We'll come back to the menu go menu, up arrow, up arrow, option, rotary unit, install unit, change it to yes, enter, remove media, we've done that. Okay, now it's going to adjust the table down to the right height for installing the jig. Okay, now we can place the jig on the table and line up the holes on our mounting plate on each side so it slips in. Then we want to go ahead and loosen the thumb screws so it sits flat on the table. We need an Allen wrench that came with the jig. And these don't have to be horribly tight, just snug is fine. Okay, so now a very important step. You need to take the uh, sensor cover and stick it over the sensor there. That's the only way the printer knows that the, the jig is in place. I'm going to hit enter down here. It says install unit. I'm going to change it to yes. It says loosen some screws, mine are already loose. Hit enter, change it to yes. Now it wants me to adjust my pitch rollers. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And just pull up on these knobs and slide them back. I'm gonna do a wide. Okay. So now I'm gonna tell it again, enter. Yes, I adjusted my pitch rollers. Now it says cover open. Okay, now it says tighten thumb screws. I'm going to do that. Enter. And now it's ready to load media. Okay, uh, before we print, we're going to have to know uh, the diameter of our piece that we're going to be printing on. Uh, you want to have a higher quality caliper available if you can. And just check the... Okay, I make it at 72.5. So that's what we're gonna enter into the printer when we get ready to print here. Okay, now we have to set the diameter we measured into the printer. Menu, user type, type one, down to media setting, down to height. It's set at 72 and we need 72.5, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, enter. Wide is what my pitch rollers are set at. This is remove media. There's no media in it right now. Loosen thumb screws. So I'm do that so that it can adjust the table height and the jig at the same time. Enter. Pitch to wide. Enter. Okay. Now it says tighten just a little bit. Okay. Now we've got a tight, we hit enter, and yes. Okay, it's ready to hit set media, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it's moving the table back to the printing position. Okay, at this point we wanna check our height setup, and this is a little difficult because of where everything sits, but we have a bar that came with our jig. 
will sit right across here. And we want to look to make sure that we don't have too much of a gap there. And it looks pretty good like that. The, if you have too much gap, it'll be difficult to align your CMYK on top of your white. Uh, if you don't have a, any gap at all, you're gonna end up with head strikes and that's not gonna work either. So you want this to be almost touching this bar. And it's very close. So we're gonna give that a try and see what it looks like. Okay, today we're gonna prepare a file for printing using the rotary jig on the VJ626UF. Uh, we're gonna start by grabbing a new profile uh, by going to the MUTO website. And that's www.muto.com. And we're going to go to the FTP site printer information manuals down to the VJ626UF we'll go to product info rotary jig and there's the profile we want and that'll take a couple seconds to download actually a couple minutes uh, so I'm going to minimize this and we'll want to make sure we have our production manager open. And okay, so at this point when it's done downloading, we can come to the 626 here, right click, go to default job properties. Come to the color management tab and we will actually want to go add and point it at our download open and it says mine already exists I'm going to say yes to override it now we've loaded the profile so we're ready to go now we can uh, if we hit OK or apply here this will become our default settings uh, most of you will not want that, so I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, now we have our profile loaded. So we can open up our editor. And I have just grabbed this image from, uh, matter of fact, I'll show you where I got it from. I'll go file, open. It is actually here under the C drive, program files x86, MUTO. Flexi Sign and Print Move to Edition Samples Illustrator. So we're going to grab this, open. Okay, because this is a vector image, all I have to do is highlight the image uh -huh. area. And now I can go to Effects and put a white underbase underneath it. So I go Solid Underbase. Up here I can change how far it sticks out or is sucked in. Uh, I'm going to uncheck the wet holes so I get white underneath everything and I'm going to check the green box so it accepts it. Now I'm ready to send a print using rip and print. We're going to keep rip and print settings. Okay so I'm going to set this to uh, width about 2.2 and I'm going to start at about 1.4 into my object that I'm going to print on, you'll probably have to do a little testing to find out uh, where your exact alignment is going to be on your piece. Um, now I'm going to make sure I select the rotary jig profile. I'm going to change the color mode to KCMYWWVV, not variable dot. Okay, now I can check my mapping colors and it has not mapped my underbase correctly, so I will change this to white one. Tell it OK. Now I want to look at my driver options. And I'm going to have my spot settings. These are all set to spot color and that's going to work for my underbase. Uh, but I am uh, only going to use one channel white. If I wanted to use two, I should be able to come here and set this same as white one. Uh, but I'm only going to use one channel of white. So that's ready. Now I have to set my driver options. 
And all this has been set by the profile, so the only thing I really need to change is turn the layer printing on and choose how I want it. I want white underneath uh, the KCMYBB. And now I'm ready to send my print. I have this on the first page here. Uh, property of the properties page I have this set to hold and lift so I'm just going to go ahead and send it and it's going to hold in my production manager now once it's holding in the production manager if I want to make any changes to the position on the page or any other properties I can go ahead and do that right here but now it's ready so all that I would have to do at this point is hit send and we'll make a nice looking print Okay, we finished our printing and now we need to remove the jig. It's just opposite. We'll go to option, rotor unit, remove unit, execute menu, yes, remove media, there's no media there, remove rotor unit. At this point we can take it out. First thing we'll grab is our sensor cover. Okay, we remove the jig, close the cover, remove rotor unit, enter, remove unit, yes. And now the printer is back to normal and ready to print on flat substrates.